In the not-so-distant future, the world faces the devastating consequences of a failed attempt to halt climate change. A grand endeavor known as Operation Sunshade went awry, plunging the Earth into a catastrophic ice age and causing widespread ecocide. The remnants of humanity cling to survival aboard the Snowpiercer, a colossal self-sustaining train, endlessly circling the frozen wasteland. The train's reclusive and enigmatic creator, Wilford, holds control over its segregated society. The elite bask in opulence at the front, while the impoverished masses are confined to squalid conditions in the tail section, under the watchful eye of armed guards. Curtis Everett, mentored by the wise Gilliam, leads a desperate revolt among the oppressed tail passengers. They discover that the guards' weapons are empty, sparking hope for change. They liberate Nam Gung Min Su, a skilled security specialist, and his clairvoyant daughter, Yona, both held captive. With Nam Guang's guidance, the tail passengers press forward, battling guards armed only with melee weapons. A fierce struggle ensues in a dark tunnel, where the tail sectioners use torches to gain the upper hand, forcing the guards into surrender. Curtis takes Mason, the stern overseer of the guards, and a few others from the tail section to venture towards the front of the train. Along the way, they traverse through various extravagant cars, witnessing the stark contrast between the lavish lifestyle of the privileged and the suffering of the oppressed. As they progress, Curtis becomes aware of the possibility that the frozen world outside may be thawing, offering a glimmer of hope for the future. However, a shocking revelation takes place in a schoolroom, where a deadly ambush is carried out by a deceptive bald man, armed with bullets hidden inside eggs. This cruel act reveals that ammunition still exists, shattering the belief that bullets were extinct. Amid the chaos, Gilliam is executed, further fueling Curtis's determination to confront Wilford himself. The journey becomes a harrowing ordeal as they face numerous challenges, including encountering Wilford's assistant, Claude, and learning the unsettling truth behind the rebellion. Finally, Curtis stands before Wilford, expecting answers to the train's creation and the suffering endured by the tail passengers. However, the truth he discovers is far more shocking than he could have imagined. Wilford reveals that he and Gilliam had conspired to orchestrate the rebellion to control the population and maintain the train's balance. In a climactic and heart-wrenching moment, Yona rescues Curtis from the brink of becoming Wilford's successor. She unveils the horrors of child labor within the engine room, prompting Curtis to change his course of action. Curtis decides to confront Wilford and ignite the chrono bomb, hoping to escape the train and embrace the uncertain but potential future beyond. As the explosive charge triggers an avalanche, the train derails and crashes. In the aftermath, Yona and Timmy, now free from the train, witness a glimmer of hope in the form of a polar bear, a symbol of life returning to the frozen world outside. 